I am Anil Kumar. Let us try to understand how to solve logarithmic equations. We have two examples here. Log to the base 4 of x minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 and 3 minus log to the base 3 of x plus 2 equals to 4. Now to solve such equations we need to rearrange, right? That is the first step, rearrange. And the second step will be write it as exponential equivalent, right? Exponential equivalent. So, and then we'll solve, right? And then we'll solve for x. So these are the steps involved. So let us begin with the very first equation, which is log to the base 4 of x minus 1 plus 1. So let's rearrange, take 1 to the right side. So we get log to the base 4 of x minus 1 equals to minus 1. Now, second step is exponential equivalent. So we know x minus 1 should be equals to 4 to the power of minus 1, correct? Now, what is 4 to the power of minus 1? x minus 1 is equals to 1 over 4, correct? That is what it is. So x is equals to 1 over 4 plus 1, right? Which is, you can take 4 common denominator, 4 plus 1 is 5. So you get 5 over 4 as your answer right? 5 over 4 as your answer. So our solution here is x equals to 5 over 4, right? Okay. You could write also in decimals 1.25, correct? You can do that. 1 plus quarter or you can write 1.25. Whenever you solve logarithmic equations, it is important to check your solution. So you can substitute the value here and see if you get the right result or not. Correct? So I'm leaving that part to you. But there's one important thing to understand. That is, to begin with, we should see the domain of the function. And since we have x minus 1 here, we are expecting value of x to be greater than 1. Correct? So that is the domain for us. Since this is greater than 1, it is expected to be the right answer. However, I would recommend you to check it. Okay. So I'm leaving that part for you to do, right? Now let's look into the second equation. So here we'll follow the same steps. Since this is negative, I prefer to take this to the right side, okay? So we have 3 minus 4 equals to log to the base 3 of x plus 2. Now it's equal to, see, it doesn't really matter, right? Wherever you can write. So we have minus 1 equals to log 3 of x plus 2. Now, it is kind of similar to what we did, right? So, we can write 3 to the power of minus 1 equals to x plus 2, which is 1 over 3, right? And then we can bring 2 to this side. So, 1 over 3 minus 2 equals to x. And that should give you 1 minus 6 over 3 equals to x. And 1 minus 6 is minus 5. So, what you get is minus 5 over 3 as value of x. Now it is important to check this value, correct? From the domain, what can x have? So now here we know x plus 2. So x should be greater than minus 2, right? Now is this greater than minus 2? Yes, it is. Minus 6 over 3 is minus 2, right? So that should work. So you substitute this value, check your result, and find the solution whether it is correct or not. So we do get the solution here. The answer is minus 5 over 3 and the solution here was 5 over 4. Correct? So that is how you can solve such logarithmic equations. We'll take up more complicated cases and I'll provide you links for the same. Thank you and all the best.